Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. If this is your first time, you are welcome. I hope you subscribe and join the family. Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with me through this journey. I really do appreciate you guys. So I don't wanna waste much of your time. I just wanna head straight into today's video. So a young lady requested that I talk about femininity. Now I am a Christian and to the best of my abilities, I live by uh, biblical principles. So today I'm gonna be talking Talking about godly femininity and how you can just basically nurture and grow your soft feminine energy as a woman of God don't get me wrong get your money you know work hard even the Proverbs 31 woman like it is um, written that she should be a hard worker you can still be soft and feminine even if you have all the money and all the achievements in the entire world now the Bible has a lot of women that you can definitely see the femininity of a godly woman in them one is Esther um, I've been told a lot of times that I have the Esther anointing and honestly I believe a lot of us women have the Esther anointing so I recently started doing more research into Esther I purchased this book off of Amazon it's called the Esther anointing so far I'm loving it I will link it in the description box Esther is one that I just feel like her soft feminine energy made the king do whatever she wanted I'm gonna be sharing tips on how I started to grow and nurture my feminine energy as a woman of God now this topic is pretty broad um, so I'm just gonna be sharing five tips in this video but subsequently I'll be making more videos before I start this video I'm just gonna read what femininity is so that we are all all on the same page. Femininity um, refers to qualities, behaviors, and characteristics that are traditionally associated with being female. These can include traits such as gentleness, nurturing, empathy, gracefulness, and sensitivity, as well as physical characteristics such as softness and beauty. Keyword softness, keyword empathy, keyword gracefulness, everything Google defined femininity as I 110% agree with. So the first step I took to nurture my feminine energy is I prioritize my spiritual growth over my physical appearance. Now, don't get me wrong, I love to look good. And I think as women, we should always look good and put together. The beauty industry most definitely is probably one of the most lucrative because we always want to get our nails done, our skin has to glow, our makeup, our hair, our outfits. I am all for it. But that should be secondary. That shouldn't be primary. Your spiritual growth should be number one. Proverbs 31 verse 30 says, Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Guys, I say this all the time. If you take God away from me, I'm just a basic regular girl like i'm not the most beautiful i i don't have the best body i'm not the most intelligent but the one thing that sets us apart from the ideal standard of beauty as women of god is the fact that we have god i believe a lot of you are drawn to me not because of what i look like i hope not but because of the god in me some ways that you could prioritize your spiritual growth is find a church that you believe in now i used to worship online for the longest while but i recently started going back into church and when I tell you it's a different vibe there's a community of people there and I just love it so I highly recommend you start going to church number two is Bible study join a Bible study group if you may I highly recommend one that has women that's at either where you want to be at in your feminine journey or currently have the same mindset about growing into becoming a soft feminine woman um, and also Bible study on your own as well like I used to dread reading the Bible God forgive me because it was just so plain and boring but then I picked up this Bible it's called the women's study Bible this is how she looks like she is so beautiful very pretty and pink you also want to filter your social media guys like anyone that's portraying any masculine energy that is intentionally or unintentionally affecting you I think they're worth on following follow women of God that are very feminine um, and that you can see their femininity in the way they serve God and the way they serve others because in time it will definitely rub off on you the next point is to always speak positively to yourself and to others I'm gonna be reading Proverbs 15 verse 4 and it says a gentle tongue is a tree of life but perversiveness in it breaks the spirit the message translation says kind words heal and help cutting words 
wound. So as a soft feminine woman of God, you want to continue to speak life over yourself, over your husband, over your partner, over your family members, over your friends, because in a world where there's so much negativity, be the light, be different. Uh, people are drawn to people that are more positive, people that are softer, because like I said, the world is already harsh enough. So you want to be someone of comfort, someone that people can come to you and know that they will be edified at the end of the conversation. The Bible says that life and death are in the power of the tongue. So we as women of God have so much power in our tongue and a lot of us don't realize the power we have so please 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 speak positively over yourself because if you speak negatively over yourself in time those negative things will become your reality and people will associate you with being a negative person and you're indirectly pushing people away for example you get married no man really wants a woman that's just such a negative Nelly, especially when he's having a bad day. He wants someone that would be his comfort, be his peace, and just tell him, babe, it's gonna be okay. Or even if, even if you have friends, right? If I'm going through something, I wanna speak to a friend that's positive. Please and please and please nurture the positive side of you. Be more optimistic about life. The next point is to be gentle. Now, I'm very gentle and self-spoken naturally. And I've had people indirectly and directly tell me that my softness or my gentleness um, basically means that I'm weak, I'm naive, I'm a pushover. And I laugh because being gentle has opened more doors for me than being aggressive. Like I have gotten my way so many times by just being gentle and sweet and soft. My mom taught me this trick, she said, if you want to get your way in life, be soft, be gentle. So being gentle doesn't equate to being weak. It doesn't mean that you don't have a voice. It is just the manner in which you communicate yourself or the way you interact with others. Proverbs 15 verse 1 says, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stares up anger. Now, have you ever had uh, a misunderstanding with someone and the tone of that person just triggered you? Like it's something that could have been squashed, but because of the tone and the disrespect in that person's tone, you were like, yeah, I'm rolling up my sleeves. I'm taking off my earrings. Where's the fight? At? So being gentle is how you communicate with a person, your tone. And I'm going to read a passage in Esther. Esther got her way with the king because she was very gentle and her tone, her choice of words. My husband says this all the time to me, like, it's so hard to refuse my requests because I'm always so soft-spoken and so gentle and he's just like, babe, I can't say no. Like, because saying no will be mean, you know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and read Esther 5 verse 3 to 7. I highly recommend you read the chapter all by yourself, but let's notice Esther's tone and her choice of words, guys. So verse 3. And the king said to her, which is Esther, what do you wish, Queen Esther? What is your request? It shall be given to you. Verse four. So Esther answered, if it pleases the king, let the king and Haman come to the banquet that I have prepared for him. Keyword, if it pleases the king. At the banquet of wine, the king said to Esther, what is your petition? It shall be granted to you. What is your request? Up to half the kingdom, it shall be done. Again, Queen Esther, verse 7. Then Esther answered and said, My petition and request it is this. If I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it pleases the king to grant my permission and fulfill my request, then let the king and Haman come to the ban banquet, etc. Yada, yada, yada. Guys, keywords. If it pleases the king, if I have found favor in the sight of the king, who is going to refuse such request? You can get your way with kings, get your way with your friends, get your way with your boss or in life in general by just being gentle, by just being soft, by having the right tone and choosing the right words. Now in today's society, if Esther probably told her friends the dialogue she had with the king, they probably would call her a pushover or you're weak, you're this. No, this is being graceful and I pray that a lot of us can understand that being gentle being a gentle spirit and a gentle soul will get you further in life than being aggressive than you know feeling like 
but then having a sense of entitlement or feeling like you're better than everybody else. The next point is to be vulnerable and humble. Again, this does not mean that you are weak. It's just recognizing that you are not perfect and that you are willing to learn from others. So avoid being self-centered or being arrogant. The Bible says pride comes before a man's downfall. God hates a prideful spirit. The mindset of I can do it all by myself. I don't need anyone. I just think it's such a heavy burden to carry and as a woman of God who wants to walk in that feminine energy, it's very important that you identify that you cannot do it by yourself but through Christ who strengthens you. The Bible says that in our weakness, he is strong. So being vulnerable and humble is knowing when to accept help. It doesn't make you less of a woman because you need help from another woman or from a man no one of the reasons god made eve is for companionship he said in his word it is not good for man to be alone so i will make him a helpmate now yes this is adam and eve but it applies across board to your friends as well you're not made to do life alone you're not made to carry the burden all by yourself let christ help you carry the burden let your friends help you carry the burden of course please have discernment don't say yes to everybody don't be vulnerable with everybody there is so much strength and power in being a soft feminine woman i pray to god to soften our hearts and to conclude on this topic i'm going to be reading a little write-up from my bible as you guys can see it's highlighted um, and it's basically highlights the women of god that um accomplished god's purpose that god used to accomplish his purpose and it says the same kind of influence is evident today among women all over the world who use their gifts and talents to lead movement um, and nurture the body of Christ. Women have a real ability to impact society in their homes and in their professional lives by practicing the same sacrificial attitude of these women whose testimonies are found in scripture. Keyword sacrificial attitudes. The issue is not whether women have influence, but whether they will choose to use the influence for good or evil to extend God's kingdom on earth. But I pray that at the end of this video, you understand the beauty and power that comes with being a soft, feminine, gentle woman of God. Again, I'll be talking more about this because I actually really do like this topic. So I'll talk about the Proverbs 31 woman and also esther anointing in subsequent videos thank you guys so 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 much for watching this video thank you for subscribing thank you for sharing thank you for commenting i really do appreciate it and i pray that god continually blesses you and uplifts you and takes you anywhere that your heart truly desires as long as it's his will god bless have a lovely week bye guys